quick rundown of how LFO tool works. So, you've got your project. You've got a uh, say you. What should we do? Pad. Okay, we've got a pad and we've got drums. But I'll play the pad. And then we've got drums. So if you go on LFO tool, I like to put it right at the bottom, but you can put it before your delay and reverb if you don't want them affected. So the way LFO tool works, basically, when you load it up by default, it's set to do this. So whatever is in this graph, it will do it every like beat, and you can change the rate of it here. But we don't want that. We want it to be affected by the kick. So I'm just going to put in a normal kind of side change shape. On like synths and stuff, you don't want it too harsh. So this just affects the level of the sound and you want kind of a smooth roll off at the top. So we've got this and if I play it now, it's still going to do the same thing it was doing. Uh, the kick doesn't affect it at all. To get the kick to affect it, there's two things you need to do. Firstly, you need this MIDI out here. What you do, you right click on right click on the track, go to insert and then MIDI out. And when you go on that, you want to change port to any of these numbers. I normally go for one. You don't need to touch anything else. Close out of that. And then you put notes down where your kick and your snare are, wherever you want the side chain to hit. I've already done it, so I'm just going to delete this because it's already on the on the first channel up there. So that's set to port one. On LFO tool, the first thing you need to do is go to this settings cog here, go to that and change input port to one. You've just got to make sure they match. So they could be set to 999. As long as they match the port on MIDI out and then the input port on here, they have to match. Then go back to LFO tool and click this twice. So it says envelope. And what that will do, it will trigger it on every kick. If you just watch this and I'll just play this pattern, you can see the line moves with the kick. If I turn MIDI out off, it stops. 